。好，大家好，其实我不应该再说了吧？刚才刚刚说过一些话，嗯，是一句一句翻吗？ Okay. Good morning, everyone. Actually, just now I have already delivered a short speech, so I do not think I should occupy this time again. Um, because 刚才主要是跟大家介绍了一下我跟我们这个代表团的情况。那么我自己来，现在就谈谈我自己的情况。Okay. Anyway, just now, as a head of the delegation, I introduced each one of these delegation about their literature achievement and position. So now let's start from my own writing career. Because I myself was born in the Himalayas and lived in the Himalayas. So it was natural to me to have a strong interest in the Himalayas and the Himalayas. Born and uh, growing up in the northern part of Himalaya Mountains, I have been very curious, naturally, for our neighbor in the south of Himalaya, India. However, for such a long period, countries like China and India may have disagreement in how to understand this world. We often say the world, but we really mean the world and not the whole world. In the background of globalization, the background of globalization, when we talk about the world, sometimes or the majority of occasions, we are talking about the Europe and the United States. Instead of the whole world. So, from China, we have a lot of literature translations. It is not our neighbors, but Europe and the United States. Consequently, the majority of Chinese translated literature books are from European countries and United States, instead of from our neighboring countries, especially India. So, I think that maybe. 我们周边国家的经验可能对我们更重要。However, in my opinion, the experience is important for us. 好在这些年来呢，啊、呃，中国人开始矫正自己的这种观念。The good news is that recently Chinese people started to readjust our opinions about this. 就文学上来讲，也开始越来越多的介绍、翻译我们周围国家的文学。In terms of literature translation, more and more translators started to introduce and translate the literature works from our neighboring countries. 所以这两三年来，也开始陆陆续续有印度当代作家的作品翻译到中国。So in this uh, two, in the last two and three years, we can see some new books from India and other neighboring countries in Chinese book market. Our Chinese author's works are starting to reach India. And some books from Chinese writers are already translated and introduced into India's book market too. Now, I myself have. 两本长篇小说，翻译成英文、印地文、僧伽罗文，在印度发行。For example, I have already、uh, two books which are translated into English, Hindi, and Sinhali to be published in India. 所以，我想，我相信将来这样的交流、访问，包括这次我们到海德拉巴来。这样的文学交流机会会越来越多。It's very special for us to be here in Hyderabad, and I believe this kind of literature exchange in the future will be increased. 我相信印度当代的经验跟中国相似的社会发展状况
呃，相相似的社会发展状况，对中国作家更有启发。I believe that giving into consideration the similar uh, situation in the process of development and the modernization of India, we can absorb a lot of experience through this kind of literature exchange, and we can be inspired from this. So, very happy to come to India and have such an exchange. Thank you very much. So it's a, a great pleasure to be here in India to have such kind of a communication. Thank you. And it's from translating Western literature. We started from translating the literature works of European countries and United States. Uh, China's most famous writer Lu Xun translated Fan Er Lai's Travel Guide. Lu Xun. One of the masters of Chinese literature once translated the ruler Verna's work Traveling in the Moon. But the real literary literature in China is in my writing this book called The Literary Literature of the Literary Literature of the Moon. It sounds like a blowing up or showing up, but uh, it's just a coincidence maybe because uh, just in, during the period when I been the chief editor of uh, the magazine Sci-Fi World, Chinese Sci-Fi literature started to develop very quickly. On one hand, more and more readers started to read and fall in love into sci-fi book, sci-fi books. On the other hand, more and more writers, especially young writers, started to write these kind of works. 比如当，比如当时我编辑这个杂志，月发行量就可以到六十万份。And the magazine, I, the when I was the chief editor of this magazine, Sci-Fi World. The month, the monthly distribution for this magazine is around six hundred thousand. 而且，这一批青年作家当中，呃，也产生了很杰出的代表。今天在世界上都发生了广泛的影响，比如说刘慈欣。Among these young writers who are very eminent in this field, there are very good representatives such as Liu Cixin. Who can represent the highest level of Chinese fan fiction? Sunti. 对他的第一个第一篇小说是我发表的。And I'm honored to say I published the, the first novel of him. 但是他只用了十几年时间，成长非常快，就写出了《三体》这样的杰作。After that, uh, in about ten years. Very shortly, very rapidly, he grew up to be an eminent writer with his book, A Three Body Trilogy. But this topic is too long. I will leave it to another one. So maybe I will c a 另外，我这个文章的发言、交流发言文章是用思想的灯点亮、点亮相相存的现实。My dear counterparts in India, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and it is a great privilege for me to be here to exchange my ideas on literature with my counterparts in India. And as you can read from uh, this uh, booklet. The title of my speech is to lighting up Chinese rural area with literature. Because I was born in the small town of Hebei, and I was born in the small town of Hebei. My mother was also a farmer. The Chinese 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 land gave me a passion for writing. I was born in a small village of a rural area of Hebei province in the northern part of China. I was, I was born among peasants. I grew up among peasants. My mother is a peasant herself. So this is part of my context and the background of my living and the writing. I've 
absorb a lot of inspiration from my personal life in rural area. 呃，刚才阿来团长从这个站在人的角人类的角度探讨文学、中国文学和印度文学和世界文学的互动，我们感觉，呃，中国的现实，呃，改革开放四十年的巨大的变化，应该走进我们的文学。另外，我还如何思考怎样艺术的走进文学世界？ Just now, Ms. Alai talked about the possibility, especially the mutual learning between Chinese culture and Indian culture, as well as the culture of other countries. I think after four decades of reform and opening up, China has entered a new era full of changes. In this new period, we writers need to reflect this kind of New characteristics in the process development, especially we need to consider about how to enter literature field, articulately. 就是中国现在正在进行“一带一路”，呃，这个打造人类命运共同体。我感觉我们的不写农民也好，写城市也好，呃，还要站在人类的高度，熟悉我们这个时代人的灵魂的裂变，其实我们这个时代人的。生存生存真实的境况来，这是我们呃中国作家的追求。Now China is、uh, calling for the initiative of a better world as well as、uh, to establish、uh, the human beings community of shared future. I think in this sense, we writers should consider about、uh, the destiny of patterns. Especially the peasants of China and the people in rural area, to describe their lives, their daily experience, and how will they improve themselves and what they will encounter in this background. India has so many good writers, so many good literary works. This time, we come here to learn to study and inspire our new ideas, and to make our common struggle. 呃，来熟悉我们人类的乡土文学，呃，让我们的思想点亮世界乡村的现实，书写时代的变迁。谢谢。We are humble here because there are a large number of masterpieces in India literature. So we would like to learn from you, so that we can exchange our ideas and we can work together to review the social facts. Especially those people in rural areas in our two countries, so that the lines of literature in our hands could light up the hearts of the common people in rural area. Thank you. Because I am a Chinese woman writer, my work is about women. 写作在中国和世界上来说，女性写作和女性生存始终是一个话题。As a female writer, I wrote this speech on Chinese women. As you know, the existence of women in China and in the whole world is always a focus of society. 在中国也是，呃，因为我出生在乡村。呃，从成长到上学，到从乡村走入城市，一路上，人生对我来说可能是最大的呃艰难的地方，就是作为女性在这个社会中，做所有的事情都是非常不容易的。I was born in village of China, and when I grew up, I moved, I entered. Towns and big cities. As a student, gradually in the process of education, in this whole process, according to my experience, it's very tough for women to almost to do anything with society. In China, the voice of women is heard first by women writers, that is, women writers, the writers who describe the world and the world. 很多的抗争中的妇女儿童做出一种正确的表态，就是对他们人生和他们自己未来命运的一个拷问。
So let us talk about the female literature in China or the feminism literature in China. In China, those female writers who study this discussion are focusing at the debate of the destiny of women, especially the women in the rural areas and the, in lower classes about their destiny, their fight against unfairness. Uh, these female writers try to cross-examine everything injustice in this background. 比如说女性写作从五六十年代一直到七八十年代到现在 Chinese, uh, there are eminent Chinese female writers starting from 1950s and 1960s until 1970s and 1980s. But one of the changes in 1980s was that some female writers started to uh, exaggerate their position as women in their works by describing directly about their feeling about love and sex in their works. 其实任何写作方式都是在社会上兴起的一个话头，对女性作家来说，他们的写作方式在中国还是比较严肃的。This kind of writing or this kind of tendency in the writing accused and caused a series of discussion, and a lot of people debated on this. Topic. Actually, in my opinion, they were very serious about this topic. So,女性解放和女性写作始终是未来写作的一个话题,就是女性作家的一个话题。但就目前来说,女性似乎是和男性作家也好,和男性朋友也好,都是平起平坐,在这个社会上起到了一定的 Female writing or feminism literature is always a focus in the academic, in the academic field. Today, theoretically, female writers are equal with their male counterparts, and, and women should uh, women deserve the equal respect as men and they should make equal contribution for the social development. But actually, in some places, women will still enter the injustice and male chauvinism fight, male chauvinism in the power of male chauvinism. 而且也要通过自己的尊严来让这个社会来肯定。所以说女性作家在这个社会上活着是比较很累的。但是对中国的女性作家来说,我们还是非常勇敢的在往前走。Zero besides besides receiving equal education and the showing their talents, the female writers in China and female scholars should also adhere to their dignity. I think in this sense Chinese female writers and scholars are very courageous. Just as Mr. Alai stated just now, India and China are very similar in many aspects. And we can see a lot of common things in your social development. 
So I'm sure we can learn a lot of experience from your side and we can obtain inspiration from our tour here in HRF. 没有女人，这个社会上是灰暗的。女人就像花朵一样，在这个世界上五彩缤纷。我在此祝福我们在座的所有女性朋友和我们作家团女性朋友，在未来的日子里幸福快乐。It will be the deepest dark time if there is no women in the society. Women and flowers to our society to make the letter more colorful. So I'd like to extend my greetings to all women at present. I wish you health and happiness forever. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Uh, I'm very happy to be here to come to the Lapa and participate in the Lapa. Before I came, we 中国作协啊，这个组团的时候对我们有要求，要写一篇在这里的交流的文章。我分到的题目呢是有关于中国当下啊、呃、女性诗歌创作方面的呃这个文章。Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here to attend Hyderabad Literary Festival. And before coming here, we were asked to write speeches on the tendency of Chinese contemporary literature. And I was asked by the host to, to say something about Chinese female poetry. When I got this question, I was very proud of my colleagues who wrote to me. I asked them a question. I asked them a question. I asked them a question. 就是说，你们为什么写诗？你为什么写诗？呃，他们的回答呢？呃，给我的答案呢是五花八门的啊，但是都是非常有个性。After receiving this topic, I utilized my network as a chief editor of a literary magazine. I asked, I contacted with a lot of female poets in China, asking them a question: Why do you write poem? And they gave me. A variety of answers. Uh, 尽管答案是五花八门的，但是他们呃都表达了相同的一点。这一点是什么呢？就是说，他们选择诗歌作为自己言说的一种方式啊，呃，对生命、对生活的这种看法。他们找到了诗歌，诗歌也找到了他们。In spite of the variety of their answers, they have a common point. That is. Poetry is their way of expression. They try to choose poem, poem writing as a way of expressing themselves. That's how they found poetry, and that's how poetry found them. Uh, my these many women writers, uh, writing partners, they can definitely represent the Chinese women writers. Ah, very, uh, is is definitely can represent. 呃，他们的这个写作的文本和他们所表达的这么一种为什么写诗，就为什么写诗里头，其实他就表达了自己一种创作的这么一种方向啊。那个从他们的文本，呃，从他们的这个表达的这种写写作的这个动机，呃，再结合他们的文本啊，我就呃总结了几点他们。呃，当下啊，我们中国女性诗歌写作的几个特点，我用几个词来表达。I can show you all these female poets I contacted and recorded in my speech are truthfully representative about the fame this group of female poets in contemporary China. Their achievements are very important, and their ideas are actually. Reflecting the tendency of contemporary female poets, so I try to conclude their ideas with several key words. 呃，第一个词呢是当下性啊，那个这他们这一批女诗人啊，呃，给我们提供了从他的文本当中，我们通过阅读，我们能够了解到当下社会
这种复杂的这种情感，呃，以及复杂的这种经验啊、呃，所带给我们的，从他们的文本当中都能够看到。The first one is being at the present. From their intercourses, texts, and ideas, we can see their eager. They are eager to express their contemporary ideas right now. They are trying to describe the actual life around them, the modern part of their experience. 第二个词呢是丰富性。呃，印度有一位当呃当代的女诗人啊，叫叫塞尔玛。塞尔玛一九六八年生的。呃，她的诗歌介绍到中国来的时候呢。呃，大家都都有这么一个相同的评语啊，就是说他的诗歌是非常特别，他不是躲在空调房间里写出来的。The second word is abundance. As you remember that the foreign poet Serva, when her works were translated into China, it was very appalling, and some comments said that. Her work is very special because these works were now written in the room with air conditioning. 呃，我们的这一批女诗人生活在不同的呃不同的省份啊，有不同的身份啊，他们有不各式各样的生活，他们很好的呃呈现了他们这种各各种不同的社会角色，呃，那个用他们给我们。描述了一幅，呃，当代社会这个诗歌的这么一种，呃，蓝图。These female poets are living in different provinces of China with、uh, different habits and different、uh, cultural perspectives. Successfully, they depicted Chinese society from different viewpoints and providing us the full grand picture of Chinese development. 呃，他们有各种各样不同的这种写作啊，比如说，如果要用标签来给他们打的话，他们有知识分子写作，有口语写作，也有底层生活的写作等等。呃，他们在诗当中表现出来的，对于生活的、对于社会、对于人生的这种困顿、困惑，呃，这种纠结啊，他们的快乐或者痛苦的这种情感，呃。呈现出来的都是非常真实的、及物的，以及是呃非常丰富的。If we have to give some tips for their writing, some of them are intellectual writing, some of them oral writing, some of them lower class writing or grassroots writing, something like that. Whatever they have successfully. Described their life experience, which they share with us, and their inter intercourses and ideas about poem and female and Chinese ordinary people, Chinese ordinary people's life are very abandoned. 第三个词呢是探索性，因为他们在写作上是都是很有自己的追求和理想。所以他们在艺术上是不断的进行这种各种各样的探索，呃，让诗歌这种艺术怎么样，呃，能够在他们的笔下能够推到极致啊。所以我是对这一个我们当下的中国诗歌女性诗歌的群体，我是非常看好的。他们的写作绝对是因为有这几个呃，刚才我说的这几个词，所以他们是这种写作是有意义的，而且是能够经受得起时间检验的。The third key word is、uh, to explore. Instead of sticking to the old tradition, those female writers are trying their best to explore new probabilities and new ways of writing. The anxiety, feel, uh, frustration, happiness, and sadness described in their works are very vivid, and that's why I. Think their career will be accept with their achievement will be accept will be accept expectable in the future, and I am confident I am confident for their future achievement. Okay, that's all. Thank you.
uh, hello everybody uh, because uh, that uh, literary translation interpretation is a very hard work so Mr. Hui has done very well and very hard <clears throat> now I would like to ask him to have a rest I would like to deliver my speech in English okay. uh, uh, 我说我现在用英文演讲请胡伟先生休息一下啊同时呢我们也可以省一些时间 <coughs> And uh, at the same time we can save some time for uh, interpretation But before, my, uh, before I deliver my speech I would like to uh, say the outline of my speech in Chinese for my colleagues <coughs> uh, 但是我用英文演讲之前呢 我把我的这个意思先用中文说一下给我们这个团的朋友们我的文章的题目是中国当前诗歌的整体水平不亚于任何一个国家那么我有四点理由第一点中国诗人对外国文学和文化的了解不亚于任何一个别的国家的诗人第二点中国
and using and uh, modernizing Chinese traditional culture. Just like uh, here in India, you have the most uh, uh, abandoned uh, uh, civilization. Uh, you know, uh, Chinese and Indian civilizations are belong, belong, belong to uh, the four greatest civilizations in the world with extremely brilliant achievements. These offer inexhaustible writing resources for Chinese poets. Moreover, the Chinese civilization is ca characterized a very particularly developed sense of history. And the Chinese have been recording history with words since about 3,000 years ago. Chinese characters are the oldest uh, continuously used and effectively writing system in the world, which allows contemporary Chinese poets to read. You know, uh, nowadays even uh, young people in China can read works by Confucius, Mencius, you know, the very old philosophers and poets. Uh, we can understand and analyze the feelings and the rhetorics in the texts word for word. Through the study of achievements of both Chinese and foreign civilizations, the knowledge system of Chinese, po Chinese poets is complete and balanced, and they possess the cultural resources and uh, uh, not available to any uh, to poets from any other countries. Okay, the third reason. The dramatic social transformations of the past four decades in China provide unparalleled, uh, unparalleled emotions, inspirations, thoughts, and direct experiences for Chinese poets. Uh, the Chinese society has gone through com complex and radical changes from the agricultural society to industrial society and further to the post-industrial society. Such social transformations cause the rapid changes and even fissions to human nature and mindset. Various thoughts and values come into being. We witnessed the collapse of the countryside, its uh, effects suffering from the increasingly serious illness caused by urbanization. There have been big quarrels and even battles between the good and evil, the beautiful and ugly, the true and false. So Chinese poets can feel all the uh, agony, the pains, the desperation in this period and they can express in their poetry. Okay, the fourth one, the last one, is that nowadays uh, the atmosphere of Chinese poetry is very normal. I would like to use the word warm to describe it because uh, the atmosphere in 1980s in Chinese poetry world is hot, was hot, very hot. You know. And uh, in 1990s, the atmosphere was cold. Few people like to read poetry at that time. But uh, uh, since the year 2000, the atmosphere has become warm. It is the, the very normal. Uh, <coughs> so this uh, atmosphere is very suitable or beneficial for Chinese poets to think and write. Uh, let me draw my conclusion. Contemporary Chinese poets are studious with an open and inclusive mind. They have deep and broad literary accomplishment, cultural literacy, profound and extensive social experience and life experience, as well as exquisite and unique rhetorical ability and language strate uh, strategy. After 40 years of binding and hard work, 
dialogues with Chinese and foreign, modern and the ancient. Chinese poets have opened the best chapter of poetry in the history and uh, has the ability and uh, uh, mind to compare with poets from any other countries. In the context of global multiculturalism, Chinese poets are making artistic creation to achieve their grand writing ambition, step by step, in a down-to-earth way. Thank you. to see uh, very nice writers from China coming here, but with reference to the Stalinist trends in Russia which have erased and killed many writers and poets, what are your experiences personally as writers in the People's Republic uh, uh, given the fact that uh, such a bad treatment of writers ended the Soviet rule and it, the communism is continuing in China. How do you feel as writers in the communist republic? Well, 作家来讲有什么感觉I don't think there is any difference or mainly difference between the writers in uh, certain regions or the writers in another region. So what what do you expect from this kind of difference? Anyway, I think it's too abstract to talk about such a kind of thing like the difference in the condition of writers in China and other countries. Just as I told you just now that I have already some several books translated and published in India. I think the best way to understand the life of country or the experience of a writer is to read his or her books. So why don't you find some books of contemporary Chinese writers, including my books, who read it, who read them so that you can figure out the condition of Chinese contemporary writers.